$120 million has been set aside to find ways to cut down on carbon emissions in Singapore's maritime sector. It includes setting up a decarbonisation centre to work with global partners and try out new solutions. So far, six firms have committed $10 million each, with the Maritime and Port Authority chipping in the rest. Senior Minister of State for Transport, Chi Hong Tat, says the centre can already start work even as a physical site is still being identified. What we want to try and achieve through the decarbonisation centre is to bring together the different stakeholders, identify some specific projects that we can work on, and then also keep an open mind on what are some of the new technologies and new solutions uh, that will enter the market in time to come. And use this as a platform to be able to experiment, test bait and apply these new technologies and solutions. The centre is one of nine recommendations by an international advisory panel to help the local maritime sector go green. These include getting ready a port or infrastructure for zero carbon fuels, as well as exploring green financing and carbon pricing for green solutions. These are to get the sector to meet or exceed 2050 targets set by the International Maritime Organization to cut emissions by half. Right now, global shipping contributes to 2.5% of all greenhouse gases released. The recommendations also call on global partners to trial new solutions together. One such deal signed today will look at how feasible hydrogen fuel cells could be for use on ships. The panel hopes work will be done on all fronts at the same time. If you try to tackle decarbonisation without thinking about financing or incentives, then it's sometimes difficult to overcome the costs involved. Uh, so all of these different elements need to come together, also collaborations with other stakeholders.